This is the future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and I am very sorry for being off for such a long time but it's time that I show you guys why. I'm busy with my backyard project. So I've always wanted to have a social area where we can relax and we can call it our own and we can have a nice area where we can socialize and have music and uh, Bryce and meat uh, barbecue as the other guys say but I never had it um, normally we had to um, use the front of the house as a social area and it is right in the view of all the neighbors and it's it just didn't work for me and we had all the space at the back which was actually such a wasted space nobody ever came there nobody ever used it and the ground sloped so much as you can see in this photo that you cannot even sit on a chair without falling over and rolling down the hill that's how bad it actually is even if it doesn't look like it on the photo it's actually very very terrible so we decided to start creating that area into an area where we can actually socialize so this will be the first video where we will show you what we did to prepare the area. This photo was taken nine years ago when we actually moved into this house. And as you guys can see, it's a wasted space. There's nothing happening there. And after the dogs destroyed all the grass and I attempted to plant grass, which was unsuccessful, we decided to convert this area into an area we can actually use. We could not remove the soil to level the area because everything underneath this ground is just boulders and stones and rocks. It's gonna to have to take specialized equipment. And to bring extra soil in to level this area was gonna take tons and tons of ground because I would have to have lifted it eight bricks high from the front corner just to get it level. So the best option was to build the area in steps. Now the first step was to prepare the area and to build the walls. So my initial idea was to build a wooden deck in this first half and to have my boma in the second half. But since we were already busy with the renovations in the house, we decided to pave the back area and leave the center piece open for the boma and also to plant some grass to give the dog some place to do his business. Now, when we initially built this first wall, we actually built it too high. As you guys can see, that it was way too high. We actually had to remove two rows of bricks because this was already above my above the dam core again. After we removed the two lines of the wall, we started loosening the ground and removing the ground to try and level this area as much as we can. As you can see there in the back corner, that black, black line, that is how much ground was removed from the back. And then obviously, this front part is leveled but the corner at the back is still a bit high as you can see here because we had to have a space for the water to run down there you can see my front walls is in where the entrance is to the bry area you see how much ground we removed and it's still not enough but we started paving anyway and the paving close to my window is level it's just there at the back where it slopes up a bit so we decided to use that for a little garden where we will plant some flowers later on because there's nothing else we can do with that area. Next up, we tried to test it to see if the area is big enough for what I wanted to do. So I put my gazebo up to see how it looked and to make plans for my future pergola, which I'm going to build. And we proceeded to take some of the um, remaining building sand and I started throwing it in here just to try and level this bottom area as well. I made an area for my boma where it can stand and I also bought a nice boma which works very nicely. And after using this area once or twice I really realized that I need to have a place where I can lock up my 
hi-fi and my chairs and the, the bow and everything after use. So coming up next in our next video is how I build the tiki bar. Anyway guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel. And remember guys, whatever you do, until next time, keep it safe. Cheers.